Okay guys, so welcome back. Today we're going to go over the nether and kind of what you do there and what you want to do there and why you would do things there. And you're lucky you're going to see the basement of my house for two seconds of glory. These are lamps, they're great, I light everything with them. Except for this room. This is the nether portal. It's made out of obsidian. And it's a breaking in creative mode like glass. And the way you get into the nether, for those of you that don't know this fun little easter egg or initially is you make a portal out of the obsidian so a 2 by 4 gateway surrounded by obsidian on all sides you don't need obsidian in these corners then you take your flint and steel you light it on fire and bam instant nether portal and we'll teleport over there I guess I want to get out of creative mode and so this is the nether and when you come to the nether there are a couple items you really want to bring you want to bring some kind of armor with you I bring a jetpack but before you can make a jetpack you have to come to the nether to get glowstone so you come here you look around you dig out the first glowstone deposit you find. We'll find some, so I'll show point this out when we get there. And you run right back to your world and build yourself jetpack, because jetpack is invaluable in the Nether. You'll want armor, so I have nano suit armor. This reduces damage based on how much charge it has. So this reduces, I don't know, probably 50% damage. If I put the chest piece on, it would be 90%. I bring a nano saber because zombie pigmen, that guy down there. He's really tough. We'll go look at him. He's got... If you look at him, he's got a sword, so he does a ton of damage. If you're unarmored and you're fighting him, he'll do like four, three or four hearts of damage a hit. And they tend to swarm, so you can see two more over there. If you look around my mini-map, there's a huge pot of them out that way. If you attack one, they'll all attack you and fight back. They also will attack you if you mine their ore, which is why we're here. Um, I bring a musket with me. Musket's pretty simple. You hold right click to fill it with shot. And then once you filled it, you can switch weapon. Oh. You can shoot it. And it it does like I wanna say five or six hearts of damage, so it'll two shot most mobs. It used to be a lot more powerful. Uh definitely bring a mining laser with you. Again, you need the glowstone to make the mining laser. So pretty much before you even come to the nether, get everything you need to make the mining laser jet pack, even the lap pack if you can afford it, and bring that, figure out how much glowstone you need, so I think you need like eight glowstone, go back, make your jet pack, your mining laser, your lap pack, fill these up and come back to the nether because you will need them. So. Over here, we can see some glowstone. Just this stuff here. I'm being shot at by glass. Other reason you want this, you can fight gas on your own turf. So, oh, shoot. That was a lot of energy. So, that was my mining laser. But, you can just fly up here with your jetpack and break them. So, that's reason number one you want it. And,. That, that's really all you need the jetpack for. Navigating the nether is a lot easier with it. So now I'm going to show you this blaze spawner over here. There are these huge fortresses in the nether called nether fortresses. They're made out of nether brick. Um, that room that we were in before I came here that I had my portal in it was made out of nether brick. And that's because I store my um, my wrath fire in there. So I'll talk about wrath fire in a later episode maybe. Uh, it's very important. Use it to make dark iron, which you use to make the factorization barrel upgrades. And they're good for storage, excellent for storage. So this is a nether fortress, uh, nether brick, nether fence, mushrooms grow in it. Inside there are magma cubes, blaze, zombie pigmen, all the fun stuff you like to fight. Uh, over here in this room is a blaze spawner. We'll go in there. Oh, there's a blaze. So, blaze are really powerful. 
because they can light you on fire. And they do this triple attack. Alright. So I'm just gonna melee these out. So they light you on fire, they hurt. Make sure you bring food with you. Uh, if you need the blaze out rods, they drop, so if you stand in here and farm enough of them, you'll pick up a whole bunch of blaze rods. I don't care about I guess. But you'll pick up a whole bunch of blaze rods and you use them to make certain upgrades and to make the brewing station, which you will use to make potions of fire resistance and fire immunity. So, should you ever come back to the nether, you can prepare yourself. So... That's nether fortresses, that's really all you need from them. Blaze Rod. Um, we're just gonna quick go over nether ore, and that'll conclude the episode. So, in my last episode, I went over high efficiency mining. Everything I said then applies in the nether. The only catch is, when you're in the nether, you should definitely use a mining drill. If you don't, er, a mining laser. If you don't have a mining laser, the diamond drill works okay, but you're gonna end up blowing yourself up a lot. So I'm gonna jump down this hole. Uh, there was coal in there. But the secret to the nether are the nether ores. And the nether ores macerate for two to three times what normal ores macerate for. So if I put iron ore from the overworld into a macerator, I would get back two dust. If I put iron ore from the nether into a macerator, I would get back four. So in terms of the number of uh, materials you get out of an ore, it's twice as high. Same thing with diamonds. You put nether diamonds in, you get two. Excuse me. So your mining pattern works still. We do that. I'll break this. We set it to long range. We aim for the center. We fire. We regrettably miss. We jump. We hold our position without moving our mouse. And we fire again. So I'm going to light this because I know that my video recorder does not show my lighting as well as my monitor does. But so as you can see, I just dug out this huge trench. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. So... Another way you can get lots of ore out of the nether quickly... Oh, there's another mine shaft I dug. Is... To just fly around the overworld with your laser. Oh, there's some. Alright, so I'm gonna prove a point here, which is nether ore, when you mine it, has two risks. First, all of the zombie pygmy in the nether have a chance of becoming hostile to you, which means if you run across one, it will attack you regardless of whether or not you anger it. But it's not guaranteed. The other thing is they explode, and they will blow up other ore near them. So I'm going to mine this deposit from a... Sp okay, you hear the creeper noise, and then boom. And there we go. Okay, we're going to put that out now. So those will blow up, and the diamond drill cannot mine fast enough to stop that from happening. But the mining laser in low focus can. So this is the one time I highly recommend using the mining laser and to mine all your ore. Also, when you mine with the mining laser, it won't anger zombie pigmen. I will admit I have not figured out the depth, the ideal mining depth in the nether, but I actually feel quite strongly that it's probably not 12. Like, I, I think it's 35 or 36, but I don't think you can get diamond up that high. So, I would look on the wikis to see exactly what they say. But that's the basics of nether ore, and that's what you're here for. And... Uh, oh, this is nether lead. It's useless. 
in the sense that I don't use lead ore yet, so I don't bother mining it, I just accumulate tons of it and then don't do anything with it. I don't even macerate it because it takes up more space to hold the dust than it does to keep it in the ore form. <coughs> and that's it, but like, so up here, I can just zap these and pick them up. And notice that the zombie pigmen down there aren't angry, but if I do it with... Oh, I don't want to pick one of those. Oh well. Say I break it with this. Now they all hate me. Not that they kill me or soul fan, but... So... That's nether ore. That's the danger of it. And... That is also all the promise of it. Ah, there's one. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, and my next episode, ah, I heard an Enderman, I see an Enderman in my house! So, yep, Nano Saber, two shots Enderman. And my next episode, why is this not symmetric? next episode will be on uh, creating a quarry in the nether. So we saw all that lava. We're going to use that lava to power geothermal power plants and use them to power a quarry. And so, yeah, just stay tuned. <laughs>